Okay, we're starting off with something pretty basic, but I have not been seeing a lot of good headings on papers. So take the time right now to put your name. Today's date is February 9th. Your the class period. And the assignment we're working on today is 5-3. And the, um, what we're starting today is important for you to be really comfortable and clear with because the skill we're using, you'll be using in later classes. We use what we're doing today in my algebra class often. We're going to be working with um, functions, which are equations, and tables, and making graphs out of what we create. So a couple of quick review things right now. If I have negative x plus 4, that is a rule. And we could rewrite that as y equals negative x plus 4. And if I want to show that this is the rule, we're just going to put a little vocabulary around this. This is called the function rule. There's two variables there. The x variable is always the input. And if you look up above my board, I have independent, dependent, input, output. Do you see where the x and the y are? And then, as you see in algebra, we also look at domain and range, which you guys will learn that later, but this is all related. So if the x is the input, that makes the y the output, output yeah. So what we're going to be creating today is a table. And the table has some, some, some titles at the top of columns. The first column is input, then we have rule, output, and some of the tables you'll work with today only have those three headings, but some of them will also have one more column called ordered pairs. So not only do we have words for headings, but we also have a second row of headings that includes variables and numbers. So looking back at our equation, what's the input? X. What's the output? Y. What's our rule here? Negative X plus four. And if you recall from our vocabulary work last week, an ordered pair is an x, comma, y pair. x is always first, y is always second. And let's put some numbers in for x. What if x was negative 2? And this is the real important part of what we're putting together here. We're going to try some different numbers for x and we're going to put them into our rule, and we're going to get different outputs depending on what we put in. I like to try a negative, the number zero, and a positive. And there's our table. Oops, I didn't put my line across the top. So now we're going to go down and fill in our rule column. And this is where things get a little bit tricky. I'm going to do a little quick side lesson here to remind you guys of something. If I have negative x, that really equals negative 1 times x. 
because that negative symbol in front of that is reminding us we have an invisible one there. What kind of invisible one? A negative invisible one. And it's being multiplied by the x. So if I'm putting in a negative 2 into a negative x, I'm doing negative 1 times negative 2, which becomes a positive 2. So when I see negative 2, negative x, I'm going to put a positive 2. And what's 2 plus 4? Six. So our xy pair is negative 2, comma, 6. What's my second one? Well, 0 is not negative or positive, but really what's happening, let's go back to this. I'm doing negative 1 times 0, and what is that going to be? 0. zero. Plus 4 gives us? Four. Our ordered pair this time, zero, comma, four. And now I have a positive three going into that negative x. That would be negative one times positive three is going to give us negative three plus four. And now I have to think number line. What is negative three plus four? One. Yep and I get my ordered pair as 3, comma, 1. Okay. Thumbs up? Seems pretty simple so far. Now here's the fun part, because I like graphing. We just made three ordered pairs here, and we can put them on a graph. And you guys will be graphing with your work today. Um, I'll give you some graph paper when I'm finished. So we have negative 2 and 6. We start at the origin and go to the what? Left to negative 2 and then up to positive 6. So it is right here. And then I have 0, comma, 4. Starting at the origin with 0, do I move left or right? But the second number on the y is 4, so I'm going to jump up to 4. And finally, 3, 1, I'm going to move to the right, 3, and up 1. And that looks like it's making a straight line, so I'm going to graph it just by connecting them. And you always want to make your line longer than the dots and put arrows on it. Because what we're saying is, I could have tried other numbers and come up with other points on this line, but we didn't try everything. We just tried negative 2, 0, and 3. Okay? Before I set you guys off to do some work on this, I want to go over a question I had. If you have an equation like y is equal to 3x squared, and I'm going to put that 3x squared as my rule into a table, and I'm going to have my x, and I'm going to have my y. I'm going to try negative 2, 0, and 2. Here's how I have to set this up. 3 times negative 2 squared. 3 times 0 squared. And 3 times 2 squared. Remember PEMDAS is still important here. I hope you guys can feel we're pulling a lot of the math we've been doing all year into this table here. You're working with your positive and negative multiplication rules, positive and negative addition and subtraction rules, PEMDAS, and we have an exponent here, so that has to be done first. Because PEMDAS, we have parentheses or grouping symbols, right? What's the E stand for? Exponents. Exponents. And then we have multiplication, division, addition, subtraction, right? So you look at this and your brain is thinking, oh, I should do that multiplication. No, you want to do the exponent first. So negative 2 times negative 2 would be positive 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Let's go ahead and finish this off. 
zero times zero is still going to be zero, and zero times three is going to be zero. And then if I'm multiplying two times two, I get four times three, 12. So if I did my xy pairs here, we would have negative 2, 12, 0, 0, 2, 12. Feeling pretty good about that? Wouldn't it be negative 12? Because you're multiplying negative 2 times 2. Yeah. It would not be negative 12 because I'm multiplying negative 2 times negative 2 first. And negative times negative is? And then that positive 4 would go times the 3. But good clarification. Okay, so on your contract, when you guys came in, you wrote down page 286, numbers 1 through 10. I will pull that up on the screen and get some graph paper for you. And if you have questions, just let me know.